His big re-election victory in New Jersey opens the door for Republican Governor Chris Christie to start thinking about 2016 and Prez. And the Christie camp may find encouraging signs in some Fox exit polls. So 93 percent of Republicans saying they voted for the governor and about one out of every three Dems in blue New Jersey supporting him. Two thirds of independents also backing the governor. Fifty percent of Jersey voters opposing Obamacare, higher than the 48 percent who favor the new health care law. Roy Murdoch, syndicated columnist, contributing editor with National Review Online and a Fox News contributor, is my guest. All right, so the big question today is not whether or not we're surprised that Governor Christie won to become governor again in New Jersey. It's can he win over conservatives in the Republican Party to become the nominee for 2016? If he's interested in being president, obviously he's got to uh, win the general, but before that he's got to win the primary. And if you're going to win the primary, you've got to go uh, uh, appeal to a lot of very conservative, in many cases in the South and elsewhere, socially conservative voters and I think uh, Chrissy's going to have uh, a bit of a, a trouble uh, making that pitch and I think to all Republicans across the board a lot of us are still sore over uh, how he behaved at the end of the campaign last year of course Hurricane Sandy hit New Jersey and he was very friendly with uh, President Obama I guess you expect some of that the but, hug the hug and all that but uh, for example I talked to someone who's pretty high up in the Romney campaign he was asked Christie was asked to come to a rally in Bucks County Pennsylvania Sunday before the election and he said no that would have been very helpful he could have had Romney come to New Jersey and toured New Jersey and the, the Hurricane Sandy damage with uh, Governor Romney that didn't happen so maybe because he was wasn't so selected as VP who knows uh, the point but sore about the, that. But, yeah but the point here being what will he have to do to become more conservative because even last night in his speech he made it clear Washington listen up here's what you do to get along with both sides it's what I've done in New Jersey I think people would be impressed if uh, look I think he has a, a tremendous charisma and all of that but seen serious uh, very concrete accomplishments a very significant tax reduction, for example, uh, more in the area of school choice, for instance, uh, things along the area, uh, area of uh, privatization. If he can say, look, here's my market-oriented reforms, people might say, okay, that's good, that's very impressive. I think what we have now is a lot of charisma chasing around, not so much that conservatives would find very impressive. Let's talk about Democrats for 2014, because you've written an article, Obama's weapon of mass deception mm -hmm. has Senate Dem fingerprints all over it. You claim that three years ago, they could have gone along with Senator Enzi's proposal, Republican, to have people be able to keep their own health care plans, but all of them voted against it. That's correct. Uh, Senator Mike Enzi of Wyoming introduced a measure September of 2010, which basically would allow people to have grandfathered plans. They could keep their plans if they like their plans, which, which is what Obama talked about. And every single Democrat voted against it. And there are about a dozen or so who are running for re-election who got that vote. They had the opportunity to stick with the promise that was made that's still broken. And right now, as we speak, I checked five minutes ago, the White House website at the moment says, if you like your plan, you can keep it and you don't have to change a thing due to the health care law. So the lies continue to this second. Wow. Joroy Murdoch, a great columnist. Check him out if you can. Thank you for being my guest. Thank you, Gretchen.